everyone, Christina here, your tech director. Hey, today I want to give you a quick tip on how you can download a flyer that you've created on any other platform, as long as it's a JPEG or a PNG image. In this example, I'm going to download it from Canva. And then you can put that in command to email that flyer to any part of your database that you would like to. All right, I'm going to share my screen with you and we will get started. So first thing you need to do is to download the image that you created. So I'm going to use this one as, a, as an example. I'm just going to download it as a JPEG and download. So now that's downloaded into my computer. Now when I go to command, we are going to go to designs. To be able to send a JPEG or a PNG image as an email, you first must add it as an email design so that it is one of your options as um, content that you've created to add to an email. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through that step by step. When you're in designs, the paper with the paintbrush, you're going to go up to the top right to create design. Then you're going to click email, continue. Now, instead of selecting one of the existing templates that command gives you, you're going to click start from blank at the top right in blue. Once you're here, you now have this blank canvas that you can um, add your image to. So first thing, always make sure you name it. So I'm going to say example. This is, no one can see this except you, just to help you know which image to select for your email. Then you have your blank canvas here. You have all of these options as well that you can add to this email. All right. So since this is a flyer, um, you can add a text box at the top. You can add a legal header. You just click any of these and drag it over and that's gonna auto populate, okay? So I did my legal header, and then I'm gonna drag over this image block and drop it here, and then add images. And since I already have it downloaded to my computer at the bottom, I can click it and drag it right there, or you can click that little button in the middle and find the file on your computer like this. Once you have uploaded it, you're gonna click on the document, I'm sorry, the picture at the bottom and then click save. So now that has been added, okay? So now if you want anything else, you can drag anything over um, button, you can determine a external link that it will take them to. So if, it, if they click on it and maybe you made a video, you could have it um, go to that video directly. And then legal footer, I always like to use the legal footers because it just helps me stay in compliance. It'll have the market center logo, um, all my information, all the brokerage information. But like I said, any of these options are great, video, et cetera. Once you have your email formatted, you can preview what it's gonna look like at the top right. You can click options, preview. And now it's gonna show you with it personalized what that's gonna look like. Okay, you even have the option at the top here to view it on different platforms. So this is a mobile device, how it will look, a tablet, and then a desktop. Then you can close out a preview mode. Let's say we're ready to go, we love it. We can click save. Now your flyer design has been saved. So now we can click X and save changes. So now you see our flyer is right here. So to send that in an email, you're gonna go over to the left side to campaigns, the little megaphone. And once this opens, you're gonna go up to the top right to create campaign in blue and select email. Name your email campaign so that way you remember. And then whatever your goal is, it does not affect anything. It's just for your records. So you remember what your goal was. And then um, we can go down here to where will your campaign run, select command email, and then create campaign at the bottom right in blue. 
Now it brings up a couple of steps for you to fill in. You already did step one and step two. Step three is where you determine who you are sending this to. If you already have a list created, you can click on that list. If you don't have a list, click create list. And this is where you can click here and select anyone you want. Or if you wanted to filter by tags, let's say you only wanna send this to your buyers, you can click buyers. And now it's showing all the buyers. We can scroll down. I always recommend scroll all the way to the bottom, make sure they're all showing. Once they're showing, then you can click select all. And name your list. So I'm gonna say buyers class and confirm. So now I have that recipient list um, in here to know who I'm sending it to. Now down here, keep in mind this email is the email that they're gonna reply to if they responded to your email. If it's not the correct email, click edit and it will take you to where you can change that email address. All you have to do now is add your subject line and then content, select design. This is where you're gonna find the flyer that you just created. And it'll always be under my templates, okay? So click on your flyer that you created. Now that email is ready to go and you can click send, or I'm sorry, you have to click save and exit. You can make any last minute changes to that email at that point if you want to. Or if you're just ready to go, you'll see a preview on the right side once more to see what that looks like. And now it's ready to go. <clears throat> so from here, you can click send and it will automatically send right then. Or you can click schedule and you can choose what day and time you would like to send this out. And you can do this all the way up to 12 months from now. Then you would click schedule and it will be scheduled to send out on whatever day and time you choose. If you have any questions at all, I'm here to help. Have a great day.